Uh, Ralphie, for you, it's not a holiday until... My mom guilts me into staying home a couple extra days for the holidays, <laughs> which actually just happened the other day as I'm trying to figure out what vacation I'm taking at the end of the year here. So what? it's that time of year. Yeah, mom's everywhere. My mom's guilting me also. So hmm, I guess it's not just me. Ralphie, I'm coming to you next. What do we know about Mindy Mann in this story? that she's been the nanny with Gavin and Gwen for quite some time and there's just these conflicting reports as you kind of alluded to Melissa there are some reports that Gwen found these text messages by the way through an Apple iCloud how many times are we hearing that story over and over okay that's why I still have a Blackberry by the way <laughs> that's uh, not and why that, <laughs> and then of All course my sexy people pictures in Mindy's are saying that she didn't cheat what was that all my sexy pictures are Polaroids. You're not going to find them. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Nothing's How in the cloud. So, Ralphie, I'm coming to you. One Direction and Justin Bieber are both releasing new albums tomorrow. Who do you think is going to sell more albums? At the beginning of the week, I predicted One Direction. That was before this full-court press that Justin Bieber has put on, though. He's doing two shows tomorrow at the Staples Center in L.A. He's announced this massive 50-date North American tour that I'm sure will sell out as well. And his two singles so far from his forthcoming album, Purpose, have charted a little better on radio than One Direction. That said, One Direction, they want to go out with a fifth number one album before this hiatus. I'm sticking with my original prediction. I'm going with 1D. Ralphie, a, a 10 million point drop from the earlier debate. What does that tell you? That people are getting a little, I don't know, tired, weary of these debates because I don't think we're learning that much about each candidate during the debates. Also, I think it does have to do with the fact that Fox Business is a secondary channel to a Fox mm. or a CNN, but still a big number uh, for Fox Business, no question. Is all this action a smart publicity ploy, Ralphie? Yes, because it fits into her brand. I mean, for quite some time now, Melissa, we've seen Amber Rose trying to redefine gender roles, specifically the way that women are sometimes stereotyped in public and in the media. All of this while, you know, maybe somebody doesn't necessarily agree with it, falls in line with her previous actions and her previous jobs as well, as you mentioned, her previous occupations. So, yeah, I think it is a smart move. Rafi, do you, do you agree with that? Is sharing information like this on social the right route to take? Absolutely, because while social media can be used to spread rumors, it could also be used to confirm good and bad news, and that's what his mother was able to do here. Although one of the saddest things in life is a parent having to bury his or her child.